Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Thursday, October 7th. Happy Thursday. It's also like a fake Friday because there's no school tomorrow. So don't forget, no school tomorrow. All right, it's also Thankful Thursday. So don't forget to either write a note or tell somebody why you're thankful for them. And I will tell you, I am so thankful for our two custodians, Mr. Sam and Mr. John, who work so hard every day to make sure our building is safe and clean and ready to go so that students can come and learn. I am so thankful thankful to have two amazing custodians. And if you're looking for someone today to give thanks for, you could think about writing a note to Mr. Sam or Mr. John because it was National Custodians Day. So all week we have been celebrating them. Okay. I have, I've been loving, I'm getting all kinds of beautiful pictures from my friends. I love this beautiful fall scene. I have another one. I'll grab it. This I loved too. Look at this. Be kind, be loving, be you. I love this. And this is from Malia in Mr. Brown's class. Thank you. I love all the beautiful pictures. Okay, let's look at some kind kids. I am so excited, all the kind kids that are coming in. Here is one for today. This is coming from Miss Brabham. Harper was kind because every time we line up, she is a leader and sets a great example in how the line should look and sound. So way to go, Harper. And thank you, Mrs. Brabham, for noticing that. And, oh, here's another one. Jeffrey was kind because he helped Aiden untie a knot in his laces at recess. And that was submitted by Miss Brabham. Oh, my goodness. Way to go, Jeffrey. The next time I've got a knot, I'm going to come to you. I have a really hard time untying knots. Um, looks like I could also go to Gage. Gage was also kind because he helped Aiden untie a knot in his laces at recess. And that was submitted by Miss Brabham as well. So thank you guys. Speaking of recesses, um, I wanted to just say a quick reminder. Did you know that the swings, I know are a super popular thing at recess. I love the swings, it's one of my favorite things too. But if, they, um, if there are people waiting for their turn on the swings, I learned that the way that we can take turns is we watch the swing go, right? Swing up and back and that's one. You do that 50 times, and then it's the next person's turn. So if you see someone waiting for the swings, make sure that you're counting so that we are giving everyone a chance to swing if it wants to. All right, for lunch today, we have a quesadilla or a deli sandwich and a cowboy bean salad. So be thinking what you're going to have. And Monday's lunch, so you can think about if you want to bring your own or have lunch here, is going to be chicken nuggets or a PB&J sandwich and tater fries. So you can think about what you want to do. All right. Our Mr. Brown's precept, our thinking like Lincoln for today, comes from Oprah Winfrey. And it says, the thing you fear most has no power. Your fear of it is what has the power. Facing the truth really will set you free. So I think that, again, it's a nice reminder as we go through this month, we're focusing on the character trait of courage. And courage is that, that trait that we have that we can keep going forward, even if it's something we're afraid of. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll stand for the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
I can't wait to see who wins a spirit stick today. Don't forget we're celebrating our spirit day today because there is no school tomorrow. And also a big shout out, any of my baseball fans out there watched the game last night. I was so excited because the Dodgers won. That's my team. I hope you have a great day of learning, everybody.